in my many, many months of research on Kingdom Hearts and whether or not it do be gay, I think I've learned some interesting things about how the lore works. One of the most confusing things in Kingdom Hearts is Naminé, mostly because she's introduced in Chain of Memories, and a lot of the lore about nobodies is confusing and is told to us with lies. So, who is Naminé? What is Naminé? And most importantly, how is Naminé? Who is Naminé? In Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, we meet an interesting new character. When Sora enters into Castle Oblivion, this strange blonde girl keeps appearing. As he travels through the castle, his memories slowly shift and change. There was a night when he was a kid where he promised to protect someone during a meteor shower. And the person he cares about in that memory is slowly replaced with Naminé. Throughout the story, we are told that our memories are lost because the castle makes you forget. But as the story continues, we realize that's a lie. Naminé makes Sora forget. She has some kind of strange power to suppress and alter Sora's memories. September 17th. 2002. Sora and his friends are in trouble. Destiny Islands, their childhood playground, is destroyed. Kairi is about to die, and as a princess of heart, she has a heart with no darkness inside. If she is eaten by the darkness, her heart will leave her body, and she will go into a coma. Once she goes into a coma, her heart flies out of her body. But what no one knew is that Sora has a special power. Sora's got Super Empathy! He's a lifeboat for lost hearts. So, Kairi hides inside Sora. Throughout the game, Sora keeps seeing Kairi talking to him. She's still in there, and she's talking to Sora. Eventually, Sora realizes that Kairi is trapped inside his heart. So, he does what any sensible anime boy does when he finds out somebody's stuck in there. He stabs himself, and Sora is turned into a heartless. His heart leaves his body. His body is consumed by darkness, and he is reborn as a heartless. It's pretty dope. But at the same time, Kairi's heart is released, and somehow, due to strange magic that hasn't been completely explained, Naminé is born. Naminé is strange. So I have to ask an important question. How is Naminé? How does she exist? When Sora stabs himself, it's very complicated. So in order to explain it, we're gonna have to do some math. Now I bet you never thought we'd need algebra to explain Kingdom Hearts lore, but let's break it down. Inside Sora, we got Sora, Kairi, and Ventus. They can be used as the symbols S, K, and V. When Sora stabs himself, he becomes a heartless. So that means he should disappear and his heart will float away. Then around the same time, a nobody that looks exactly like him will wake up in the land that never was. Now, does this happen in the games? No. Roxas appears instead, and so does Naminé. You play as Sora's heartless, and you make your way over to Kairi, and Kairi gets her heart back. So, that means her heart did in fact leave Sora's body. It exists separate from him. So, if a person in Kingdom Hearts is a will, a heart, and a body, that means there should be three heartlesses and three nobodies, right? Well, no. Sora and Ventus become Roxas, and Kairi becomes Naminé. On the surface level, this makes sense. But remember, there's more going on here. This situation is strange. Sora is a normal human, right? Sora equals a heart plus a body plus a will. But Kairi is just a heart because she's a princess of heart. Her body is safe and presumably her will is still in there. And Ventus is only half a person. He was once a human with a will and a heart and a body, but Xehanort separated his darkness from him, making Vanitas. And his heart left his body at the end of Birth by Sleep. But Ventus is a heart with no darkness and no body, and maybe even no will. This means that if we plug in all the variables, Sora is a heart, a body, and a will, Kairi is a heart, and Ventus is a heart. So this means that when Sora stabs himself and his body is destroyed, that means one nobody should be created. There's no destruction of matter and there's no added matter, so we get Roxas. Sora becomes a heartless, and then what happens? Kairi's heart is released, she wakes up, everything's fine. Sora is a little bug boy running around. But in this situation, what happens to Ventus? When the game was designed, Ventus wasn't even involved in the writing process. Ventus was added after the fact. Originally, there was no answer, but I think I know the answer. Sora and Ventus don't have bodies anymore, and Ventus can't get back to his body. It's over in Castle Oblivion, and it's lost to him, and he can't find it. He doesn't know where it is. So, I think Ventus hangs on to Sora's body, waking up as a part of Roxas, which is why Roxas' memories are so altered, and why he looks like Ventus. Not just because Ventus and Sora's hearts merged, and that's why he looks like a nobody, because Ventus is still in there. 
And Sora's heart moves on. It goes to the final world. It, it exists somewhere else. It's done. But when Kairi hugs Sora, this is what we call a true love sacrifice. She is going to die, and everyone agrees that Kairi cares about Sora, and she sacrifices her safety to save him. So, I propose, Sora's heart grows a new body. His original one was destroyed, and it becomes Roxas. That's a fact. And Ventus is in there, probably. So Sora has grown a new body and is walking around. But this leaves an interesting question, a very important question. How are nobodies created exactly? We have seen that when a heart leaves a body, it doesn't make a nobody. It's happened many, many times. Xehanort ripping out his own heart and putting it in Terra. There's no nobody, there's no heartless of him. Kairi being removed from Sora, there's no heart, there's no nobody, there's no heartless, none of that. Nobodies are made from a body with a strong will returning from darkness. Kairi's body is fine. Ventus's body is fine. So where the fuck does Naminé come from? She doesn't have a body to grow from, and she doesn't have a heart to grow a body from. So how does she exist? Tell me, I don't know. How? How does she exist? How is Naminé? How? Please tell me. I need to know. How does she exist? I have struggled finding this answer for months. Why is she there? Why? Now, I might be wrong, but I have just one guess that makes sense. When Sora stabs himself, that makes Roxas. That's a fact. Roxas looks like Ventus. Ventus's heart stays in his body as he becomes Roxas, and then that's why he looks like him. Plus maybe the magic of them merging. But when Kairi hugs Sora, I personally believe that makes Naminé. Think about it. Naminé is so strange. She's connected to Sora's memories. She looks like Kairi, but she's blonde, which makes no sense, and that has been bothering me forever. I think the only way that this makes any sense is this. When Kairi used True Love's sacrifice, Sora grew a new body. And I believe in that moment, Kairi was consumed by Sora's darkness. And for a second, her body was destroyed, and she grew another one. Bing, bang, boom. Naminé wakes up in the world that never was. She has no memory. She's a husk, and she's just a handful of memories. A piece of Kairi and a piece of Sora. I'm still not entirely sure why she's blonde. Maybe it's because Sora merged with Ventus at some point, and Kairi was in there. Maybe she found some hair dye at Castle Oblivion. I don't know. The mystery of Naminé is like quicksand. If you try to dig your way out of it, you fall deeper. She's an enigma, and by the rules as we understand them, she shouldn't exist. Hell, even she says she was never meant to exist. My best guess is she is simply two small pieces of Sora and Kairi, born from sacrifice, and eventually grows her own heart from growing, living, and connecting to others throughout the story. Just like Roxas, and just like Shion. And just like them, in Kingdom Hearts 3, she is given a fancy new body, and now she can live. But Naminé is so strange. And maybe it's all just a bunch of flashing lights and bullshit, and none of it was really planned specifically, and things were retconned later. Or maybe it was all planned ahead of time. But in order to have this lore make sense, and all of us to have not wasted our time on this series, this is the best I got. She's a nobody, made from self-sacrifice, she did what she had to, merged with her creator, and eventually was given life again. I hope this video was helpful and didn't infect you with my madness. I've tried my best to understand her, and I hope someone in the comments can correct me and maybe help me understand any of this, because I feel like I've missed a lot. There's a lot of lore in Kingdom Hearts, and I've been trying to unravel it for a very long time. So for the time being, because everyone is interested in watching my Kingdom Hearts content again, I'm gonna put together a few more videos like this. Short, sweet, simple explanations of various points in the lore that we need to understand. I didn't really rewrite this one as many times as my previous script. That one took 11 months. This one I've been thinking about for a while, but I haven't really worked on as much. But I think this is the easiest way to figure out more about Naminé and how she fits into all of this. Anyway, I'm Aloni the Bard, and that's how I feel about that. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hey, did you know that I've been streaming Kingdom Hearts? I know, it's kind of a secret, right? I definitely haven't mentioned it a bunch. I've been streaming every single Kingdom Hearts game in order for Kingdom Hearts Proud Month, all of June, June 2023. It's been great. I've been having a lot of fun with it. 
As of recording this, I just finished uh, getting to the final Maleficent fight. Maleficent's Dragon was really kicking my ass. But uh, you should check it out, twitch.tv slash Aloni the Bard. I'm playing it all the time. It's great. Uh, we have many days left. I don't know if I'm going to beat Maleficent tomorrow. Probably not. But hey, drop on by 6 p.m. CST every day. Basically four hours of me trying to beat Kingdom Hearts and losing my mind. Some people have already come by and I've had some great chats. I'd love some more. But yeah, that's all I got. Hmm. I'm also trying to create some math for Kingdom Hearts. SB equals S plus K plus V plus D. Wait, no. SB minus S minus D equals a nobody? Maybe SB minus S minus K minus D equals Roxas? Nominee is K plus D? <sighs> I think I gotta read up on my quantitative reasoning because this shit needs to be broken down mathematically. There's there's other nobodies and there's replicas and I'm not even gonna touch coded and date escapes. I mean, fuck, man. At least I could I might be able to explain the time travel a little. Mm. What the fuck, Namora? Seriously, what the fuck is this? I'll have I don't know, I'll fix it. I guess I'll, I'll try to explain it or understand it. Anyway, bye.